Drodzy. <laughs> okay, so we're here <laughs> in my garage with Vaughn. And this is, is this your first project, Vaughn? Yeah. First That's ever fun. project. And uh, we bought this as an on, well, I say we, you've bought this as an on runner. Um, a Hornet, on the Hornet. Uh, it's a 52 plate, but it's the last of the carb, is it? Yeah. Last of the, the last year of the carbs. Yeah. Um, non runner. Non runner. You gotta tell us a bit about um, the rigmarole you had in the purchase of it. It's a bit of a story with the purchase of it, isn't it? Regarding, you saw it, yeah. you wanted it. I saw it, wanted it. Went up to see it in Brecker, yeah? Made a deal with the guy and he went absent on messenger. So <laughs> yeah, that's right, right? Yeah, I remember that. Which was really annoying. Yeah. And then uh, I found the bike based on the pictures. Right. On Google, Google Earth. So I thought, stuff this, I'm going to go up. Yeah. Regardless, and have a look at it anyway, because it was in an open car park. Right. So, made my way up. Um, got a message off him then, 20 minutes into the journey. To say, uh, this is my postcode and uh, address and things. Yeah. And uh, it's a good job he did, because he was uh, a rifleman on an army base, so I wouldn't have been able to get in to the car park <laughs> yeah. anyway. Yeah, I know, of course, right. he needed to give you clearance and all yeah. that, like that. Huh? So yeah. it was a quick 20-minute uh, trip back home then to pick up a mate. Come right. Come with me. And then we backed on ourselves again, then back up for an hour up to Brecon. Saw the bike. Um, so did the deal then, then to do? The more yeah. Or, yeah. Quite happy with it. Um, paid a deposit. You had to wait a month, until the end of the month, yeah, isn't it? Until the end of the month. Wait a few weeks then. Yeah. But um, there was something that happened in between then that sort of complicated things, yeah. I think, wasn't it? Waited a few weeks because uh, that was the only time I made to the van was available. And uh, we had that storm come in then. And, That's uh, right, yeah. The bike was under a cover and that blew the bike over, cracked <sighs> the left fairing. As you can see, yeah. Thankfully. One of the fairings is off. We've taken it off. It's in the cupboard there, waiting to be uh, have some Maldod and some Thank TLC. Yeah. And thankfully, he had a massive. Um, Givey box on the back which took most of the Ah bags. right, yeah. So we only got a little bit of a yeah. scuff there, uh, cracked fairing and Which you've kindly given now to me. Yeah. <laughs> for helping you bring yeah. the bike back yeah. home in the van, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we get the bike back and obviously right, so, so the bike reasons why it's an on runner from the previous customer, what did he tell you? Uh he said it was running fine, but his mechanic thinks it's a card issue, which if it's been stood for a long time or it went off the road with a carb issue, I can imagine it would have some sort of issue with the carb, so it wasn't yeah. out of the question. That's it. Um, so bought it on a complete, well, sort of calculated. Wing and a prep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Certainly calculated gamble. But, That's it, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. But considering, I mean, obviously we won't go into like fine details of prices here now because it's personal, right? But regarding what they go for which viewers at home or whoever watching this we yeah. know we know what they're worth we know, we know this is probably and you've worth. added like you got plenty it, the price you added for gave you plenty of leeway to yeah. throw some money at it didn't it yeah so they, well the 600s are going for like 1500 to two grand that's it yeah with lower mileage on the thirty thousand mark yeah yeah know, and a clean clean history on that's the it HDI. yeah so, so I, I knew i had I could throw quite a few hundred at it. That's it. You know. So for now, we, I don't think we'll go deeper into like the the fine tuning issues we've had so far and that we're gonna have to deal with because we are gonna make uh, either some more videos or maybe a live stream regarding the progress going on from you. Yeah. But suffice to say, uh, we've had some ups and downs so far. Yeah. We've we've yeah. seemed to have rectified a couple of the problems, which we'll go into more detail at a later date. We've had, as you can see from the tank, we've had a bit of an issue there because storage of a tank is like, don't put them upside down. Yeah. <laughs> it's the melt yeah. your paint, right? But, and we forgot about it. And we yeah. forgot about it. Yeah. So, But there was four of us working on the bike all at the same time. And there was a lot to keep an eye on because so much work went on in such a spa short space of time. But there was probably about four or five issues that immediately we 
diagnosed yeah. and immediately fixed. Yeah. Um, but we say fixed. Well, we think they're fixed, they're fixed but yeah. we... And it's all back together now. Carbs are back together. Tank is back on. Fluids replaced. Yeah. Uh, there was an issue with uh, water pump, which is fixed. We'll go into deep, more detail about what we did, but it's all back together. And this is the... First time we're going to try and start it, where you try to start, you try to turn it over when you bought it, yeah. just to see is she going to turn over freely. But now is the first time we're trying to get it fired up with fluid, fresh fuel in, fresh fluids in, and everything that we can see that was maybe a problem. We f we think we've yeah. rectified. Yeah. So I'll leave it to you. Let's give it a go on. And don't forget, there's no prime. <laughs> like, you were waiting. I'd be the same. On a carb bike, it's like you're waiting for the prime. Oil light to come on before starting. Before Normally, yeah, and it goes off then. Uh, Let's give it a go on. Is it out to gear? Uh, neutral. Should be. No, there's no neutral on that. That's it. That's why I couldn't tell you. Either. Right, we're going to leave it there. Yeah. So, obviously, there's something that's wrong. <laughs> So and that sounds like there's that sounds like a fuse or something gone. It could be the battery. Yeah, you'll have to try your the bigger battery. Oh, this one, it's come back yet, All right, just a fault. Oh, is the connector on the terminal yeah. tight? Because normally it kick that seems where, where it kicks off a terminal. So as you can see, uh, me and Vaughn had a little bit of uh, issues there while trying to get the, everything started initially. Uh, so I thought I'd take this opportunity just to go in detail. As I mentioned earlier, I was going to go into detail uh, a bit more uh, regarding what was wrong with the bike exactly once uh, when it was purchased. So initially we were told, um, we knew there was a leak coming from the water pump and there was a broken bolt uh on the water pump itself so that needed stripping uh taking removing the broken bolt which came out quite nicely um and obviously new bolts new new gasket and fit in and we filled it up and she she looked okay um so there was also he the previous owner had said there was an issue with the carbs so we didn't know what the issue of the carbs was going to be, but as you can see with one of the photos in here that I've put, um, that's all that turned to, out to be was there's a T section of uh, rubber hose and it had split, basically. And it was about, say, 20 mil long. Uh, we just had to remove it with the clips, cut the new piece of pipe that wasn't split. <laughs> and uh, Bob was our uncle. Uh, and so we at that point we were like right well we seem to have fixed the two main issues that the previous owner said what, that was making the previous owner say it was a non-runner um, so I'm just going to list as well a few of the parts that have been bought for the bike now all together uh, throughout these four doors and, and trying to get her to the state where you're about to see where we tried to start her for the first time so, uh, water pump in the, in the royal seal, water pump casing seal, uh, new radiator, new hoses, all new cables, uh, full service as well. We've given a full coolant flush, uh, studs, gaskets, nuts, fairings. Oh, uh, and one other thing as well, uh, we have discovered this and we're going to share it with you viewers because you might find it of use. Um, we've stumbled across this place in Calais in France called Aximoto, I think it's called. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, where we've discovered discovered like a breaker and um, we've bought these replacement friends rather than trying to uh, respray and um, fix up the old fairings that were damaged. We found this pair of fairings, a uh, set of fairings on this site. So we took a bit of a gamble. Uh, I think it was altogether about seventy-five pounds we pay we paid. There was not much charges. We were waiting to see if there was going to be a charge, but I think there's like a a limit when you're ordering from outside the the UK. There's like a limit of I think it's about one hundred and thirty-five pound before you have to pay import charges 
or extra VAT or whatever. Um, but we paid, like, like, I think it was about £75 for these fairings. And uh, there was no extra charges. It, it, it all went through rather uh, effortlessly. Um, and I'm going to include some footage of... Because they're not on the bike yet. We've kept them under wraps. They're literally brand new. They've come off a brand new bike. <laughs> and they've just been in storage. And They are like proper liquid gloss. Uh, as new as you could want, really. So check out Aximoto for any of his stuff. I mean, obviously, perhaps we've got lucky that we've managed to get some stuff that was on the shelf that was brand new. But they do have a good range of uh, bike parts there. Uh, obviously, going on with what uh, what has been replaced, ready to go on is chain and sprockets, rear wheel be bearings. I had a set of front wheel bearings from my old CVR that I'd given the Vaughn. Um, new pegs, rear brake pedal was damaged, rear brake disc was warped, rear pad, rear brake pads, uh, brake bleed nipples, cush drive. New front tire is going to have to be purchased soon. Oxford grips. Uh, headstock bearings and then a, va a variable amount of like uh, clips and screws that we've replaced as we've gone along so I'm gonna get let, uh, let the footage get back to our first start and what we encounter so uh, we'll have a chat later and I'll let you get back to the footage cheers other that it starts up we've taken it up to temperature and this is how she's running now there are a couple of issues, but they're not bad. Do you think the exhaust is badly? Yeah, the exhaust in multiple areas is blowing. <laughs> and that was starting without the torque, because we've already started it with the torque. She is, we thought the engine was knocking, but it's not, it's blowing. with his ears shut. <laughs> I, I love it, I, I, I'm happy to be next year. There you go. So, yeah, there's uh, for your ears only, group members only. Don't forget to get your subscriptions in. <laughs> <laughs> your monthly subscription, otherwise you won't be able to enjoy this content, right? I'm, okay. I'm all pleased that nothing's fallen off. <laughs> That well, still this is it. Of all, credit to all of us, right? In that every job we've done, none of the jobs we've done have been an issue. In fact, they have probably fixed it. We don't know exactly, because we never heard it running before, what the issue was, but the carb pipe is and, my guess. And when you first give it a bit of stink, yeah. it bogged down and shut off, didn't it? That's it. But first of all, well, I took it up to... Three or four thousand revs, and as soon as I let go, she cut out as if she bogged down. But then we tried it again, it's and it's get, every time we're starting it, I took it up to six thousand revs. Vaughn ran outside and put, yeah. covered his ears. Got after the baffling. For I'm you. like, yeah, <laughs> he wants to put the baffling. Yeah. I told you that that stubby exhaust is going to be obnoxious. Yeah. It will do your head in, not even on a long journey. Drone. It'll drone in unless you go your plugs. Take your plugs, I would, right? I know. Yeah, longer, yeah. Longer can. I think longer one. Sell that one. And it'll look, just unbolt the can, sell that one, and go better, for something longer. It'll look better because it'll come up here. The deck of it are lovely. You've heard the note. Got the groove yeah. That That's it, yeah. And yeah. you could go like try over or something like that. There we are. So, yeah, it's. It didn't, didn't blow up, so thank you. In it. <laughs> but every, the, the water, 
we sh- we did pan ourselves in there because the water pump and all that is yeah, all working so great. The bloody side. I was like, yeah, the, we had a like puddle. You can still see it there. There was a puddle of water coming out of it, but the exhaust was full of water. Mm. But it was a good thing because once I put the torch on, the heating up of the water inside the exhaust was blowing out of the gaps in the exhaust as steam. So it was showing us where where it's blowing from basically but it's definitely blowing at the manifold and there's a couple of air leaks as well in the joints as it all bolts together so it needs a bit of i got a tube of the as i've already told one i got a tube with that stuff the cement the the sealer uh that i've just used on uh, you can see it there i've just used it it's a bit of a mess but i sealed all that up uh on the suzuki so yeah happy days can't fault it <laughs>